So, I was coming out of the liquor store. Let's not worry about what all I was getting from the liquor store, okay? That's not important. Don't lose focus, okay? Focus. Mind your business in my Tabitha Brown voice. No, I'm just kidding. Upon exiting, I noticed an old homeless man asking a young man for some change. You got some change? And the young man said, Man, what you mean do I got some change? Why are you asking me for some change, man? I should be asking you for some change. I probably need it worse than you do. I don't know what possessed me. To do what I did next maybe he triggered like my grammar demons or something because before I could stop myself I ended up doing this actually the word worser is an archaic superlative the current consensus is to just say worse so now the young man is sizing me up I got his attention and he says you went to college huh so what can I say? The young man hit a bullseye. He had me pegged. So I said, yeah. So then he says... You probably married and stuff, huh? What can I say, y'all? He nailed it again. So I said, yeah, and showed him the ring. The whole situation was so random and so crazy. The young man was about to ask me another question, but then it was like the homeless man was seeing me for the first time. So he goes... You got some change? And the young man shut him down. Man, leave her alone, man. Don't be asking her for no change neither. She probably still paying off the college that told her there's no such word as worser. Anyways, y'all. I brought up that whole story just to tell you this. Number one, homelessness is a pervasive problem in the city of Los Angeles, in the country as a whole. New York is number one. I believe they have over 75,000 people as a homeless population. Here in Los Angeles, it's about 60,000. And those aren't even the actual hard numbers. Those are just estimates. So it is a crisis that I think we need to pay attention to and find a solution for. Number two was the young man. I believe that the young man, the reason why he asked if I went to college, why he seemed to have such an interest, young men like that, they can scope you out in a few minutes. They can tell you your age, your weight, your median income, your level of education, and most importantly, how likely it is you're going to fall for a scam. How gullible are you? Those are just some things, some food for thought. Miss Gia's musings. And I'll be back. I'll be back to talk more about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because I'm heading to Cleveland, y'all. Take care of yourself and each other. For now, peace out. You know why we have indeed. You know why we have yes, sir. You know why we have that's right. You know why you know why you know why I'm high.